dear are you all stressed and worn out why don't we play a game then it's so sad to wait for someone to play along with right so it's better to play alone it's always better to play indoor games as there are contagious diseases outside why don't we play a digital game then but finding the right digital game is a draining task hey why don't we create a digital game we can do it easily dear imagine how amazing it would be to create a game of our own wish but we need a simple but effective platform for this think dear how do we get into the world of animation got it scratch junior scratch junior is the best platform to create the games of your dreams so let's get into the world of animation with scratch junior first you have to open the browser and search scratch junior download click on the first suggestion scratch junior for desktop in the result page that appears now scroll down and there is the mac version for the mac system and windows version for other users here we are selecting the windows version since the system i am using now is windows click on the download option and on the save file and we get the save file from the downloads folder now that we have downloaded scratch junior next let's install this on our computer so go to the top right side and click on the downloads icon select the open folder option and maximize the window that appears from here we can install the software by double clicking on the scratch junior icon maximize the window to proceed since we are home let's select the home option oh we are going to start the project are you excited come press the home button and click on the plus icon in the project window hooray here we are don't get worried seeing all these icons and workspace let's get familiar with each of them here we can do the necessary coding and steps to design our game or apps the center white box you see is the stage oh who's at the center it's tick a default character on the left side you can see the character box of tick the details of the current character are shown in it where do we do the coding look it's in the white colored workspace that lies at the bottom since we got the space for coding what do we need next we need blocks right it was quite easy to spot the lengthy row above the workspace encompasses blocks from yellow color to red color and the strip beside it is the block palette don't you want to know the names of the colored blocks yes the first yellow colored block is the triggering block the blue one is the motion block looks block is the next one in purple color now comes the fourth block the green colored sound block the orange colored block is the control block and finally we have the red end block shall we try to do something new tick is here but he is standing on a plain background since he is not giving any idea where he is standing we can place him on a beautiful background come let's do it click on the image icon above the stage to add the backgrounds too many options are available here how do we select one hmm what about the fourth image there from the second row it's a winter background okay we can do the edits using the paint brush tool from the top now let's select our winter background and click on the tick icon wow tick is on the winter background drag tick to place in a suitable position done see tick is blue in color can we see him in a different look click on the brush icon to edit tick it brings us to the editing page we have some editing tools here let's get to know what is the use of each one The first one on the left side is the line tool. Next is the circle tool. The third tool is the rectangle or square tool and finally the triangle tool. Below these four tools there are the tools to adjust the line width. 
The tools from the left side are over. And what are these on the right side? The drag tool is the first one here. It's to drag and place the characters where we want them to be. The second tool is the rotate tool. Next is the clone tool. And the final one is the scissor tool. We can remove the unnecessary parts using the scissor tool. Oh, that's interesting, right? We can check the remaining tools now. The camera tool is here. Then the fill tool. How can we use the fill tool? We can try changing the color of tick now. Select the fill tool and choose any color from the options available. Here, we are choosing an orange color and then click on tick. Wow, we got an orange tick. He looks like a walking orange, right? Can we change its name? See, the name tick is there in the box at the center top portion. Delete it and replace it with any name you wish. So here, click on the text box and delete the name tick. Then type in the name as beanie. We change the blue color tick to orange colored beanie. To save these changes, we click on the tick button at the top right. What do we do if we need another character instead of tick? There are two ways to remove the tick character from our background. The first method is by first clicking and holding on tick, then clicking on the cross mark that appears. The next way of deleting is by clicking and holding on the character box of tick character at the left side and later clicking on the cross mark that appears. Shall we introduce a new character now? Click on the plus button at the left side for that. Here, we can see many characters along with the one we edited. Let's choose the second one for now and hit the tick button to bring it to the workspace. Then drag it to the required position. It will be good to see if the character moves, right? We can try moving the new character. A block is needed to code for that. Can you guess which one it might be? Here we want the blue colored motion block. So click on it. And there appears many block options in the strip. We have to specify the direction to which the character should move using these new blocks. To know the purpose of each of these new blocks, just give a click on the respective blocks. See, the first one is for moving right. Click and drag the move right block to the workspace. Then click on it to see whether the character is moving in the right direction. Again, hit the block to move it towards the right. Did you notice the issue here? It just moved once. That doesn't look perfect. So let's denote the number of steps here below the block. Click on 1, then change it to 3 by selecting the number from the number palette. And let's see what happens now when we make the character move. Press the block. Wow! Unlike the first stepwise movement, it took a continuous motion this time by taking 3 more steps. To bring it back to its initial position, click on the reset button seen beside the green flag about the stage. Now, the character moves only when we click on the block. We want it to move automatically when the game starts. And the game starts when we click on the green flag icon. In order to set the automatic movement of the character, click on the yellow color triggering block. Then click and drag the first block, start on green flag block to the workspace and place it in front of the move right block. Then join it. We want the character to move from the initial position to the end position of the background. Instead of randomly giving the number of steps like earlier, now the exact number of steps should be given. To know the exact number of steps, click on the grid icon above the stage. The grids appeared and we have to count the grids to give it as the number of steps. See, the character is at the fifth grid. Try clicking on the block on the workspace and it moves to 8. Click on reset to bring back and count the number of grids to reach the character at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 
and 13. So click on the number 3 you see below the motion block and delete it. Then choose 1 and 3. Ok, it's 13 now. Now click again on the grid icon to make the grid lines disappear. It's time for the preview dear. For that, click on the green flag icon. Oh, see what happens? It just moved once and stopped. How can it be solved? No worries, hit the reset icon and click on the red colored end block. Then click and drag the red end block that appeared on the block palette to attach it to the blocks at the workspace. Hey dear, it will be amazing to see the project we did on full screen, right? So click on the full screen icon or presentation mode about this stage. Hit the green flag icon then. Perfect, the character starts moving and stops at the end of the background. Click on the full screen icon to go back to our workspace. Finally, press the reset button. And there, the character is back to its initial position. What if we want to add more pages? See, on the right side, we have the option to add pages. Click on the plus sign to add new pages. Click again. And once more. We can have a maximum of 4 such pages. And if we need to delete these pages, click and hold on it to see the cross button. Ok, so click on the cross icon when it appears. We can interchange the pages also by just clicking and dragging and placing it above the page we needed to replace. Now, we can delete the third page by clicking and holding on it, then pressing the cross button. Likewise, let's delete the second page too. Click and hold on the second page. Finally, give a click on the cross button. Since we added the character and its necessary motion, we can save it. Click on the yellow strip at the top right corner and we got the project name as Project 1. Delete it to give a new name as we wish. Here, it can be My First Project and click on the tick button. By clicking on Home, we can go back to our project folder. We can create a new project here by clicking on the plus icon. Let's click on it and see our project window appears. So back to the folders by clicking on the home icon. We can edit our first project again by clicking on it. Click on the close button at the top right corner to exit the Scratch Junior platform. How was the process buddy? You got an idea about game creation, right? Do you think only this much is possible in this platform? No, you will be surprised by seeing the further outputs. But make yourself familiar with the blocks and the coding process. Now that you are familiar with the sample animation, make yourself do some of these animations so that you can become a pro in this platform. I will see you in the same platform with another amazing projects. Until then, bye dear!